I welcome you all for today's lecture. Today we are going to see how to use stress strain curve to determine Young's modulus, stress at elastic limit, ultimate tensile stress, percentage elongation and percentage reduction in area. Let me read the problem. A specimen of steel 20 mm diameter with a gauge length of 200 mm is tested to destruction. Here we are going to test a 20 mm diameter specimen using a universal testing machine. We are going to conduct a tensile test using the UTM. Okay. And uh, this is the gauge length. That means the length which is subjected to the tension while it is being tested using universal testing machine. And this is the length. Okay. The remaining length will be under the clamping during the testing. So, we should not consider the entire length, only the length which is subjected to tension is considered as gauge length. It has an extension of 0.25 mm under a load of 80 kN. And here we are provided with the load as well as the deflection and the load at the elastic limit is 102 kN. The maximum load is 130 kN. The total extension at fracture is 56 mm and diameter at neck is 15 mm. Find Young's modulus, stress at elastic limit, ultimate tensile stress, percentage elongation and percentage reduction in area. Okay. So, after conducting the tensile test, the specimen has elongated by 56 mm. So, the diameter of that specimen is 20 mm and the diameter of the neck is 15 mm. So, here is the neck. Okay. So, after conducting the test, we could visualize that there is a reduction in diameter in this particular region. So, that diameter is 15 mm. Okay. We can see that the diameter is reduced by 5 mm because initially it was 20 mm, now it become 15 mm diameter at the neck. Okay. So, the elongation length is 56 mm. The specimen length is measured after conducting the test. So, it has increased by 56 mm. That means the difference between the final length to the initial length, that is the gauge length is 56 mm. So, then we are provided with some data about the load and deflection. So, for that we need to draw the stress strain curve. If you want to know more about stress strain curve, watch my lecture on basics of stress strain curve. At this point, we started testing the specimen and the strain is exactly proportional to strain up to this point proportional limit. So, we can see the straight line. Within this region, we are provided with a load and a deflection that is 0.25 mm at a load of 80 kN. So, here is the load and when it is applied, a deflection of 0.25 mm happened on the specimen. So, how we have taken this is just under the proportional limit means we are given with the another load that is during the elastic limit and this point E is given that is 102 kilonewton. So, obviously this point must be in between the O and the proportionality limit. So, we are going to use this 80 kilonewton and the deflection to find out the Young's modulus because we know that the slope of this line represents the Young's modulus. So, we are going to use this slope for finding the Young's modulus value. And the elastic limit load is given as 102 kilonewton that is 102 into 10 to the power newton. Okay. And finally, we are provided with the maximum load. The maximum load is applied on this specimen at this point and this point define the ultimate stress. So, this load is also provided in the problem so that we can calculate the ultimate tensile stress. Now, we know that 
all the uh, dimension that means gauge length and initial dia and after the failure or after the fracture what is the neck diameter and the extension of that uh, specimen everything is provided and also we have marked few points on the stress strain curve that means uh, a point within the proportionality limit that to find out the Young's modulus value and the load during the elastic limit and the maximum load. Now we are going to see how to find out the Young's modulus and the other unknown values. Let us solve the problem. So this is the given specimen. So the diameter of the specimen is 20 mm. So we are going to calculate the cross sectional area of the specimen. So which is pi by 4 d square and the value is 314.16 millimeter square. So this represents the cross sectional area. So we need to remember that it is the cross sectional area because while finding the stress we need to know the cross sectional area so that we can calculate the stress value. Now let us calculate the Young's modulus value. We know that the region under this proportionality limit is to be used for finding the Young's modulus because within this region stress is directly proportional to strain. So the Young's modulus value is going to be within the region it is taken as stress over strain. We know the points which lies within the proportionality limit. So we are going to use this value and the corresponding deflection value to find out the Young's modulus value. Okay, so the Young's modulus is equal to stress over strain and we know that the stress value can be calculated by using the load and the cross sectional area that is load divided by area and the strain value represents the ratio between change in length to the original length. So the deflection at this 80 kN is provided. So we are going to use that to calculate the Young's modulus. So here 80 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 which represents the load at the this point that is within the proportionality limit a load is given that is 80 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 newton divided by area area is calculated that is 314.16 divided by this is the change in length so at 80 kilo newton the corresponding deflection is 0.25 mm it is given in the problem so here we have substituted that as 0.25 and the gauge length that is the initial length of the rod is 200 mm. So we have got all those data to calculate the Young's modulus. So we have to remember that while applying this load this must be within the proportionality limit that must be ensured while calculating the Young's modulus. So the Young's modulus value is calculated as 203718 Newton per millimeter square. Now we are going to calculate the stress at the elastic limit. Okay, so we are provided with the load at the elastic limit, and that is 102 kilonewton, 102 into 10 to the power 3 newton. Okay, so we are going to calculate the stress at the elastic limit. So the load is 102 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 newton, and divided by the area. And now we got that stress value was 324. 0.675 Newton per millimeter square. So now we are going to see how to calculate the ultimate stress because we are provided with the maximum load. The maximum load is applied on this specimen at this point of the stress strain curve and it represents the ultimate stress. So we are going to calculate the ultimate stress with the help of this maximum load. So the ultimate tensile stress is equal to ultimate load divided by the cross sectional area. So ultimate load is 130 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 and the area is known. So we have calculated this ultimate 
tensile stress as 413.80 Newton per mm square. Now we are going to see how to find out percentage of increase in length and the percentage of reduction in cross sectional area. So we have got that uh, specimen which is used for tensile test and this is the specimen which represents the uh, specimen after the test is being conducted. Okay. So the percentage elongation is equal to final extension divided by original length multiplied by 100 which is the percentage. Okay. So this final extension can be found by using the formula that is final length minus initial length of the specimen. Okay. So in our case we are directly provided with that value that is final length minus initial length that is 56 mm. So that is why here we have put that as final extension. Okay. So if it is not given we need to use this formula that is final length after the fracture happened minus the initial length of the specimen to find out this value divided by the original length or the initial length multiplied by 100. Okay. So here the final extension that means the change in length is 56 mm divided by 200 multiplied by 100 which is equal to 28 percentage. Okay. So the percentage elongation of the given specimen is calculated as 28. Now we are going to see how to calculate the percentage of reduction in cross section. Okay. The percentage of reduction in cross sectional area is equal to initial area minus final area over initial area multiplied by 100 okay so initial area is pi by 4 d square that is pi by 4 20 square okay the final area is pi by 4 this neck dia square okay so that means it is 15 mm the initial area is pi by 4 20 square minus final area is pi by 4 15 square this is the diameter at the neck over the initial area that is pi by 4 t square that is 20 square multiplied by 100. So here we have got that percentage reduction in cross sectional area as 43.75. So in this problem we have seen how to use stress strain curve to calculate the Hanks modulus stress at the elastic limit and ultimate tensile stress and finally we have calculated the percentage in elongation and percentage in reduction in cross-sectional area. Thank you for watching.